everybody, Rich Lavelle with the Vacaville Baseball Barn, Master Instructor with the Epstein Hitting System. And I want to talk a little bit about a short swing versus a long swing. What are the pros and cons? A long swing is not necessarily the death sentence, as, as a lot of people say. And, and I've even discussed it as well, being a long swing is not necessarily a good swing for a young player. And what, what do I mean first by a short swing versus a long swing? And short swing basically meaning in my definition, maybe in others, I'm trying to keep the end of the barrel inside my back foot so that I'm short, compact to the ball, and I'm quicker. Doesn't necessarily mean that I'm losing bat speed or power because of that, because of the torque that I generate here, and as I pull the knob towards the pitcher, I'm even shortening that swing up just a little bit more. It takes me less time to swing to the ball, but allows me to wait longer and deciding, am I gonna swing or not? Now, what does a long swing look like? This is where maybe your instructor or dad or coach or someone is telling you to separate, and they're telling you to push your hands back. You wanna get your hands back. That is not necessarily a death sentence, although I'm not a big fan of it. People like Ted Williams, Babe Ruth, um, maybe Joe Jackson, and others in, in normal, I say normal, but common era, trying to think of one right now which escapes me but they would get their hands way back like this and then when they swing their hands are a little farther away from their body but what they've done is taught themselves once they get into this area they pull through without allowing that elbow to get out in front and cause bat drag so here's what this looks like a long swing my barrel's way back here behind my my foot they've got to start a little earlier they have to start their swing a little bit earlier they may or may not be able to stop their swing soon enough if they want to check swing. So what are the pros to a short compact swing? I have a longer time to see the ball. I can be quicker to the ball. I can still maintain bat speed and power. And what are the cons to it? I don't really see it uh, for any reason. I could be wrong and, and some people may disagree. And if you do, by all means send me your comments love to have that discussion with people so that I can learn more. What's the pros and cons to a long swing? Long swing, maybe you can generate just a little bit more bat speed, possibly. Um, I don't think you can get on path anymore than you can on a short swing. The cons to me, too long. You're taking too long and younger kids, maybe into high school even in collegiate, they're just too far away from their body. They never really get their hands pulled back in front of their body. And this is what you'll see a lot, where they're hitting maybe farther or closer to the handle. That reduces any kind of power that we get on the ball into the field. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me. Subscribe and like our, our videos on YouTube. Check out our Facebook and our website.